Yeah, 22 gave the streets what they want. Got them thinking that they beefing. No opposition, say they quit, he think he keeps. And now, hey, hey, gang. Yeah. I'll stop playing with the though, bro, for real. You know that shit be hurting them, for, for real. Yeah, fuck them. Yo, man. Yeah. I, I just had to go ahead and imitate that real quick. Hey, wasn't that real funny? Avon was a killer, but he had like a Michael Jackson voice. Yeah. He's an egg gang. Yeah. But anyway, on and big and better things in the convo. Um, right now, man, what we got going on? We got another dilemma. Well, Lil Dirk dropping this after this. But you can't get mad at him, though. You got to really sit back and think about what Lil Dirk has went through. He been through people smoking on Nooski. He went through people smoking on Chino. He went through people smoking on Vine now. It was like, Lil Dirk, his dead homies never get a rest. So now Dirk in his bag. You know, what was really going on, Dirk is feeling cocky. Ever since he got that Drake cosign and that Drake feature, everybody know when, some, when Dirk get on the song with you, if you a nobody, he's going to boost your career. Black boy JB. 600 Breezy, Lil Dirt. So pretty much what Lil Dirt doing right now, he in his bag. He ain't feel like the ops getting no sleep. Because in his mind, y'all thought y'all was winning. Y'all thought y'all was doing something with that little slide song, huh? Now look at me. So Lil Dirt pretty much now he able to give it to you back in full. So everything you was throwing at him, he throwing at you. He don't too much even really care. If you didn't diss his cousins, if you're on the other side, then it's, it's smoke with you. And so I think y'all just need to calm down. I keep seeing all these bloggers talking about why Lil Dirk need to stop dissing, why Lil Dirk doing that. Okay, okay, I get it. Y'all putting them titles up there for the viewers. But if y'all any type of real street dudes, you'll know. Or well, if you've been following the drill scene for as long as I have, then you'll know Lil Dirk is fed up. He in his bag right now. Anything that man posts on Instagram hitting a million views. And it wasn't doing that before Drake, no offense. But now that he in his bag, he gonna let y'all have it. Look at Crump. Crump was smoking on Nooski, doing all this, eating Chino burgers, now he gone. He gotta let Crump have it. Look at Duck. Duck was doing all that, woo woo, now he gone. He gotta let you have it. So Duck, Dirk outlasted everybody. In his mind, he the GOAT. You can't tell him nothing. But one thing I don't like is how he steady dissing Chief Keith. He steady dissing Chief Keith. Y'all ain't even been catching the little subliminals over the years, but I have. Listen to that Crazy Story 3. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Listen to that Crazy Story remix with Dirk. Lil Dirk said, we took two chains. He said, we took one chain, we took another, and they wanted to buy them back. Whatever he said, just go back to that song because I should have been listening to it before I made this video. My fault. It's a lot of snow out there right now. I'm trying to see how I'm going to get out there in my car. But um, pretty much Lil Dirk through a subliminal. And when he was talking about that we took two chains and they wanted to do something, I got to go back and listen to it because I paused the song when I heard it and I explained it to my girl, hey, babe, that's the Chief Keep this. Because think about it. They took Capo Chain first. Lil Durk and whoever, OJ300, they took Capo GBE Chain. They took that G's piece. Remember that? Then they came through and that's when... Um, they took uh what the f oh, they they took Chief Keep Glow Gang chain. Not his Glow Gang, they took his Johnny Dane chain. So now it's like we took two chains and they wanna buy him back whatever he said in that song. Lil Dirk can't take nobody else's chain. He's steady dissing Keith. You know what I'm saying? Leave Keith alone. Keith don't even want to diss the ops no more. It's like you picking at somebody just because you feel like you're bigger than him right now. Lil Dirk pretty much trying to bully Chief Keith because that's what Chief Keith did back to Lil Dirk, honestly. Chief Keith was bullying Lil Dirk back when Chief Keith had a big platform. Everybody was going against Lil Dirk, calling him bogus for messing with the Migos. Now Lil Dirk pretty much, anybody who was talking down on him or when he gets the grain over the past four or five years, now that he in his bag, he finna let it be known in every song because Dirk don't be coming direct with it. You got to really pay attention to Dirk. He's slick with the words, man. And that's how I caught that Chief Keith diss. Keep y'all heads up, I'm out.